Abus six pin dimple lock. It's fake. Hallo Sebastian. Hallo. Kannst du mal das Schloss anschauen und mir deine Meinung dazu sagen? Ja. Wie fühlt sich das so an? Umgebaut. Umgebaut fühlt sich das an? Ja. Hallo Katrin. Hallo Michael. Schau mal, ich habe hier ein Schloss. Hat mir jemand geschickt. Sehr schön. Kannst du mal deine Meinung dazu sagen? Und wie fühlt sich das an? Lusche. Lusche? Ja. Wenn ich da jetzt sage, dass das kein echtes Abos ist, sondern ein nachgemachtes. Und dann glaube ich das sofort. Mhm. Ja, sehr gute Analyse. Danke dir. Bitteschön. Ja. Yeah. Welcome to the fourth part in a five-part series of videos about locks that were sent to me by Objane Brave. So, buddy, thank you very much for this very interesting lock, which um, is a fake Abus. <laughs> yeah, we have seen the Müllner, the Dabel, and the challenge lock from Fast Charlie. And here is a uh, pretty cool lock. It's a... Uh, Abus from the first glance, but it's fake. And how could we know that it's fake? Well, um, check this out. <laughs> These are some pretty significant tolerances. That's a lot of play here in this plug. Uh, I believe you would not expect this to find to, to find on a real Abus. And also the key is not very stable here in this lock. And also listen to the pins when they return to the shear line. <laughs> they return individually, which tells you that this lock has some pretty bad tolerances. Um, beside of this, we can also check the logo. So it says Abus here on the key, but this is a, a true Abus key. And if you closely look how Abus is written on both keys, you can see some uh, differences. And they will be even more obvious when we look at them on the computer. So here's the picture that I've taken from both keys. Left is the fake one, right is the true Abus key. And I've cut out the part where we can read Abus and put both images on top of each other and scaled them. So that's the result. Currently we can only see the fake uh, key, but when I change the transparency we can start seeing the true Abus writing. Yeah, here it is. The letters are much wider. The font is similar, but the letters are much wider. Back to the fake one. Yeah, Quite obvious actually when uh, we can compare them next to each other, so true Abus writing, fake Abus writing. <laughs> really cool! But now let's continue with the video. Alright, I think that was pretty obvious. And beside of all this, what you can see from the outside, you can also quickly uh, pick the lock and then you will find out that this is uh, a pretty easy pick. So let's do that. Zoom in a little bit. One is binding, two is binding, three is binding, four, five, come on, and six. Yes. Pretty easy pick, although it's a six pin lock as you have seen, but the tolerances are so bad that this is, um, well, I don't know how you can, how you could not pick this lock. <laughs> Never seen a fake Abus, that's a, a really cool lock for me. Um, yeah, I will quickly open it up and then I'll be back with the guts so we can then look at the uh, pins and the core and so on. Just hold on for a second. Alright, so here you can see the pins of this lock. There are standard key pins and standard drivers in this lock. And the driver pins have even rounded ends towards the shear line. This also makes picking easier. 
Looking at the plug, we can see nothing special here, just a normal plug with six chambers which are a little bit enlarged. But looking at the other side, well, we can see cuts to save material probably, but they were made uneven. <laughs> Looks like someone has done this by hand, I don't know. Never seen something like this before. Pretty cool luck, this fake one, this fake Avos one. Yeah, Bjarne Brave, thank you very much for sending this uh, fake Avos to me. Pretty cool. Yeah, before I say bye bye, uh, we need to open up the last package that he sent to me. So, here is the last package. Pretty curious what it is. Let's open it up. So, this will conclude the series of vlogs that Janne Brave has sent to me. And that appears to be a challenge lock. Uh, what does it say? Hand filed from key blank, shim needed, tail screw needs to be on tight. Okay, so this is a handmade key from a blank. And that's very nice round cylinder. Oops, that looks interesting. <laughs> Challenge lock, most probably by Obiane Brave. Pretty cool. All right, so this will be the final um, uh, part in this five-part uh, video series. All right, so uh, see you back on the last video of this series. Thanks for watching, happy picking, and bye-bye. Oops, I was wrong, sorry. It's a challenge log also made by Fast Jelly, which uh, the other side of this label reveals. Who are you? is the title of this challenge log by Fast Charlie, made March the 10th, 2018. Okay, and now really, bye-bye.